Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Resetir in Item Shop's Tale. My name is Old Man Daisy, and uh, let's uh, get let's jump right back in, shall we? We're on day three now, as far as everything goes. Um, from what I remember, we need ten thousand picks. Yes, we need ten thousand picks by day eight, so we should be able to get that handily as long as we keep uh, getting items from dungeons and everything. So let's go ahead and uh, I'd say, I see, let's, let, let's say, let's go see what's going on right now. So, hey, look, there's something going on at Town Square in the chapel. Uh, let's see what's going on at the Town Square. And there's a cat in my way. Mmm. I, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing you when we are not in the plaza. Yeah, well, it's healthy, right? Okay. As far as everything goes, you, if, if I remember correctly, you can go to as many places as you want in one time period because you're technically out in the town. So let's go to the chapel and see what's going on here. Say, so, uh, Tyr, you came from a uh, finance camp com company, right? What on earth? A Yes, that is right. I work for Term Finance. So you're employed by them, right? What's it like? Er, no, that is not quite accurate. I was contracted to turn through another organization. Thus, I'm not really an employee, per se. So you're just contracted? I'm surprised you seem so... It's not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a very specific contract ag agency. There are, of course, a few free agent fairies out there as well, and... So that's how it works. Er, yes, to tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society, so the ag agencies were founded an age ago in order to help facilitate fairyhood, uh, fairy livelihoods. That's amazing. Quite. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Adventures Guild and go to another dungeon. Um, have any food? Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, bring an apple and some walnut bread. Just in case. Alright, time to depart. Let's go to the Jade Way. That's the next, uh, that is the next area to go to. And let's see what will happen when we go through this, uh, this newer dungeon. Is equipped by I am in bags. Probably should see if I could upgrade his weapon. Ow! Stop it! Alright. Definitely want to level up a few times before... Oh, those wasps can be a dangerous, dangerous factor. Let's see how many times I can level up before um, before I get to the boss. And I might just go ahead and... Uh, basically, go through this whole uh, this whole dungeon in one run-through. We'll see what happens. But there are very a few items I need before uh, this dungeon's over. Okay, so there's the portal. Go ahead and take care of these guys right here. Yay for many chains. Ooh, a bow. I'll be nice, so. Ow! Stop it! I hurt. Oh, really? Okay, well, I have a simple solution. Oh, really? Oh, well. Kill the jellies! I hate being paralyzed. Alright. Not too rough of a start, but I prefer not to get hit near as much. Now, again, Louie is your base all round, a good all round character as far as a stat wise goes, but in all honesty, I prefer one or two others over him quite well, and you'll see in a moment. Well, not necessarily a moment, but you may see me uh, play something else this run through if, uh, if I happen to get the next one. Alright. There you go. Oh, that's an explosive uh, acorn. I do not want to be near that. Alright. Got some powerful anti venom? Good. Alright. There you go. Huh, <laughs> regular clothes. Got it. Alright. I hate these guys. I usually have to back them up to a corner or something like that to hit them half the time. Huh, an ingredient I do not recognize. That means I need to increase my shop level some more. Nope. Alright. 
Hey, not this way. Yay. Don't have to worry about the bees. Huh, I, I didn't realize it cost like 600 picks to hire him, but... Oh well. I mean, you're almost guaranteed you're almost guaranteed to make it that much value back with at least one or two items. I basically grabbed those two items right at the very beginning with the with like the uh, bow and one other item. I believe it was the wool coat. I can take a look quickly. Ooh, I'll take an orange. Let's see here, items. Yeah, the leather armor. Yeah, between the bow and the leather armor, I already got I already got myself what I needed. All right, heading back over here. Alright. Now, you can't really dash you can't really dash with most of the characters. I believe there's only one character that can actually quote unquote dash. And it makes the run so much faster. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. However, there is a downside to that, and the downside is basically if you're not careful, you will run into a lot of enemies that could kill you really quickly. Really, really quickly. Right, going to the next one. Alright. Get that. Alright. Keep on going. Now! I don't want to be attacked. Stop it, Knowles. Alright. There we go. Ooh, and there's a common shield, so I can actually I can actually uh sell a few of these items to the Louie and actually upgrade them. Hmm. Not the bunny would stop moving. Come on, there we go. Ooh, a furball. A furball plus one. All right, heading on down. Okay, a couple of these guys. Yeah, again, you're not really in danger early game from from any enemies unless if you just go around recklessly. I'm going around kind of recklessly right now, but I mean. Louie can take the hits, and I level up too, uh, level up pretty fast anyways, I really care about the health. But, the later dungeons do tend to become a problem. Just mainly because, not all your characters have the highest defense, and the characters that I like to use don't are usually a bit quicker or heavier damage, but they can't necessarily take too many hits. I hate enemies like that. Although the music is actually quite relaxing, that, so that's a good thing. Alright, uh... Take care of those guys. There you go. Level up. Alright. Heading down to the next area. In fact, I might just go ahead and just kind of rush through the fourth floor. And not really worry about enemies too much. I'll just... I'll still see if there's any chests or anything like that, but... I'm at high enough levels where I don't really have to worry too much about these guys. Oh, crap, random teleport. Oh, not that bad. Although I do need to keep killing these guys, but I don't believe I can get the item I need until a certain, uh, until a certain floor anyways, but, you know, just to be safe. There we go. Ooh! Egg toast! You know, this, this is something that's always kind of surprised me. I mean, why is there food in dungeons? I mean, think about it. Don't you think that most of the stuff would kind of, like, be spoiled, rotten, you know, not edible, and yet here we are finding- TROUT! God. I hate those trout. They, they've actually legitimately killed a character at one point because I just kept getting hit one after another. Alright, take care of these guys. Ah, oh, come on. Alright. Take care of the bee. Okay. So going down here, Come on right past here. Ooh, hey, unknown ingredient. Oh come on, I'm a critic. That would have been nice. Ooh, summer sandals. Those are worth quite a. And those are worth quite a bit early game. One of the more, one of the better items I actually get, believe it or not. All right, next floor. Ah, uh, Crown Slime. There's actually something I need from you, Crown Slime. So, uh, would you like to, uh, you know, stand still and do nothing? Alright. Now, this guy, all you have to do is just basically kind of run away until he decides to, uh, stop doing anything. So he takes more damage. Ow! But you take more damage as well. 
Alright. And this is why... This is why you, uh, you bring a couple items just in case. In fact... Orange. 32 HP. Okay, now he went back up. And this is where it kind of gets a little scary because... Again, Louis not the Louis not the fastest, and there's a lot of bosses where the faster you are, the better. But I don't deal near enough damage to actually do any damage to his bigger forms. Really? Oh wow! See, this could get bad really quickly. All right, I have to be a little bit more careful. Do a hit and run tactic, basically. Oh, really? That's full. Cool. Basically, you have to kill these guys right here. All right. I get attacking like once or twice, but that's about it. Or sometimes four in a row if I get lucky. Ah, oh, that would have probably ended him. I also have Egg Toast, so I'm not that worried about health. Egg Toast is actually a really good healer. Alright, come on. One more. Okay. There we go. Uh. Now, I could go back, but I want to go through the rest of this. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to actually take care I was not I was unable to actually uh, get a certain item from him but I can always I can always get back later and uh, in a certain like a certain uh, little feature that these dungeons have depending on which dungeon you go into but I'll so show you what I mean by that let's go ahead and get a uh, let's go ahead and see what we can get here ooh a tree seed necklace I think we're about to actually be able to get just about all of our all of our picks for the next payment through this run just about anyways all right take care of that Hmm. That was weird. Oh, wait, that's right. These guys like the... Oh, an icy chest. Alright. This is not fun. Okay, there you go. Now, I could go... You can. You do go a little bit faster, but you slide and you have no control where you're sliding. Okay, I just need a level. Ooh. Hey, look, ooh. Walnut blood bread plus three. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright. Out of danger for now. Can't carry anymore. Hmm. Is there anything I don't need? I don't really need uh, anything that costs like a hundred or below at the moment. Because a lot of those I could just get back really easily. Yeah, the common shield is actually worth it. In fact... It has a plus one furball, though I do technically need those. Walnut bread, water shroom, egg toast, wind shield, eh. I know an ingredient. I might need those. Okay. Well, I have a couple of healing knives. Also, we'll go ahead and, uh, if, oh, I don't have that. However, common shield. Gives him a little bit more defense. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we go. I believe these guys drop them. And, and, and basically this area. Oh, come on. Okay. It's either, it's either the 6 through... Uh, what was I thinking? It's either a level 6 through 10 or 11 through 15, I believe. I believe this, I believe this dungeon goes up to 15 levels. Hmm... Alright, make it down here because there's really nothing out uh, here that we need. I just hope I find some bats soon. I need bats and gnolls. That's pretty much what I need. Thank you, Rox. You actually didn't hit me that time and you helped me out. Do -do 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 -do. Nope. Stop it. I, that's probably honeycombs from these bees, which are actually worth something. Ew. Uh, Louis really needs a better weapon. 
Ah, I hate these mushrooms. Can't carry anymore. Well, I have some bread I can eat. Alright. There we go. I got the ingredient. Yay, tentacle monsters. Hmm. More more ice. Uh I know it I know it's I know it is the season for uh ooh. So those weren't honeycombs, and what were they? Huh. Well, you know, tis the season for icy weather. Alright. No, where the heck? There we go. There you go, honey. Alright, stop it. I can't wait till I get expand the inventory from leveling up. Now, the merch levels definitely do help you in dungeons, believe it or not, because the more merch levels you get, um, there's certain merch levels where you're like, oh, look, you get to carry more dungeon items. So it's basically better inventory management. In a sense. Let's see here. Alright. Go on, take care of these guys. Can't carry more? Yeah, well, I don't really need those anyways. Alright, let's kind of them down to the next level. Alright. Alright. This is starting to get annoying. But I need to, I need to find gnolls and bats. As long as I can find those, I think I'll be good. Because then I can get the then I can get the uh, drop that you can get from the king slime. Basically anytime I want. Hmm. Alright. What other items can I get rid of? Um leather armor still worth something. Furball, I can go ahead and toss away the furball. And the Water shrooms. Treasy necklace I'm gonna definitely keep. Chocolate bar, I might I might just go ahead and use that for the boss. Eh, a wool hat. Darn. Not worth anything, but that's still something I can technically sell if I don't fill up my inventory more. Hey look, bread. I'll use that for uh for healing for the boss fight. There you go. Now the music for this area is not really that good. It's kind of like, hey, look, it's a mysterious area. Well, yeah, it's technically all dungeons are mysterious areas in some way, shape, or form. Alright. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. Alright, Lou's at level 10, so he's actually getting to a decent level to where he won't necessarily die instantaneously. Um, let me check to see if there's any other chests and see if I can find some mortals. Alright, there's a chest, but there's a paralyzation chest. Oh no! Oh, candy Venom. Well, you know what? Candy Venom is actually worth something, so. I will go ahead and toss away the wool hat. No! Damn it! There you go. Let's free range. I, it's not really used for very much, but it's worth at least something early game. So, if you really think about it, it's kind of like, hey, look, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this and basically just make 500 picks. I mean, literally, that's basically 5% of what we need to pay off for, pay off for the bill. Like, legitimately. Ooh. There's an inkwell. Alright, you know what? I'm thinking about just getting rid of these common shields. Well, that's an adventurous possession, so. Yeah. Right oil. Those are a bit rarer than the others. Here we go. Well, that's about it. Alright. Hopefully I'll be able to gain one more level before I hit the next boss. Come on. There we go. Do, 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 do. 
Alrighty then, let's see what uh, what else we got here. Just gonna snatch this guy for all the experience he's worth. All right, next floor. All right, Louis. Don't fail me now. Hey, there's another no. Let's see if I can. Oh, look, more honey. I'll take more honey. Alright. Alright, definitely need to be careful, though. Louis taking a little bit more damage, I'd like. up here. Let's take care of these guys. Alright. They are taken care of. Alright, now these guys are annoying because they, they don't really even have to touch you to, ki to kill you. Alright. I need like one or two more enemies. Alright. Luckily these guys don't do too much damage. anymore. Now go ahead and just use... Well, no. I'll drop the walnut bread for now and see what they have in here. I get, all I need to do is kill one more enemy. That's a, ra that's a raincoat. That's actually worth something, isn't it? Eh, no it's not. I'd rather have the healing at this point. Hmm. There you go. Don't mind using a couple specials on one enemy just to make sure I get the level up and don't die. Ooh, an apple. So now that's, a, that's something I will definitely carry on my person. Probably more so than... One of the powerful anti-venoms. I know I said I was going to use a powerful anti-venoms for selling, but I mean, at this point it's kind of more or less... Work with what you can. Alright. Time to see if I can't find one or two more gnolls or some more honey. And Yeah. Can't carry that. I'm not to worry about the unidentifiables anymore at this point. I'm kind of full on them. I right, got one or two from those guys. And... Ooh, a toast. I'll definitely take that over the apple. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and kind of be reckless here and just once I find the area then I'll switch it out or actually yeah I'll just eat the apple now I have the walnut bread actually take that egg a toaster all right take this guy out all right I believe you don't get the item until until you actually get until a little bit later in the in the dungeon. And I believe this one goes up to 15 floors. Now I now I'm thinking about it because I haven't seen a single bat yet. And usually the area where you get the where you get I believe it's a lizard on a stick and the bat wings. They they have to be they're pretty much in the same area. So I'll just go ahead and uh, check to see if there's another chest. If there's not, I'll head on back. Ooh, there's another chest. But looks like there's an actual item in it. So let me go ahead and take care of these guys so I don't get hit. Stop. Now, what he just dropped there might be something I need. So I will actually go ahead and uh, take out another powerful any venom. He's like, could be the the uh, key, the stone I need. That's nor that's normally with a boss. Because they normally don't they normally don't like a uh, drop like that. Well, they can drop from from the smaller enemies like that, but they don't normally drop very often. Since that's a questionable ingredient. All right. I'll go ahead and toss away the leather armor. Another rain coat, Jesus Christ! Really? All right. Take care of that ra uh, rain coat. All right. I'll take the powerful item. Next level. 
Oh, yes. Reginald Drib Drisby. Now, you want him to eat the purple mu the purple mushrooms because they will actually poison him. And he becomes extremely weak after a few attacks. So, ah. Once he actually eats them and everything like that, then he actually, th he actually, uh, then it's really, really vulnerable. And I believe I can basically almost kill him in one fell swoop as long as he starts eating one. Okay. Come on. Get hungry. There you go. Oh, wow. That was definitely not as much as I was liking, but here we go. But yeah, luckily I'm luckily I'm just getting mostly purples. I'm not gonna spam my SP because I might need it for later. All right, halfway down. You think you'd learn by now? If I'm only attacking certain ones, that means the rest of them must be that the rest of them must be poisoned in some way, shape, or form. There we go. Ooh! Definitely dropped a question mark item. I will actually, I will actually pick that up. Uh, question is that what can I eat to uh, kind of replace what I have? Um, actually, we'll eat this apple. Gives me a little bit more health for the dungeons ahead. Ah, back to the better music. Awesome. The previous one, the previous music is kind of a drag, so luckily they went back to this. Can't carry anymore. Not worry about it for now. I may worry about it a little bit later if I think I'm going to have a hard time. But we'll see what happens first. All right, there you go. Hopefully I'll be like level 13-ish by the time we hit the final boss of this dungeon. That'll be uh, my that'll be my quote unquote optimal thinking. All right. Ooh. I can't carry more, so that means there's something in there. All right. Um. Let's see here. You know what? At this point, give her the wind the uh, wind bow. Get rid of the chocolate bar. Get rid of the regular power plant, even. Because at this point, you're basically replacing it with a bunch of other stuff that might work. In fact, nah. Uh, actually, I need to figure out how much is. Here we go. These are the these are the bats I was talking about. So, ah, uh, all right. He basically probably already got me the uh, item I need. All right now, it's time for the uh, lizard. Time for like the fried lizard or lizard on a stick or something like that from these guys. And. That's a little bit of a harder deal, especially since I don't remember if there's, if there's another item you can get that's technically a question mark for them, but we'll see what happens. Come on. Ooh, candy apple. That's a good that's a good little drop. I think that was the other item technically, but luckily I actually have a level to be able to do that, to be able to identify it, so that's nothing to worry about. Hmm. Let's see here. Did they spawn again? Alright. Yeah. And these guys hurt a lot, but they do give some decent XP. And, uh, ooh! They actually, that might just be the fin. Actually, I think that is just the fin. Yeah, I'm going to drop that. But I'm really going to pick it up anyway, so it's a fin fan. Technically something that is actually very important to creating a couple of weapons with, believe it or not. Oh, uh, these guys. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, the armored guys, they are really only vulnerable from the side or the back, and that's the only real way you can deal damage to them, because they will just block your attack. So you kind of have to position yourself to them. They're not too, they're not too strong early game, but later they can be quite the annoyance. A lot more so than most other, other enemies. There you go, that way. That's exactly what I need. So I did. So what I got was something that was completely different. All right. I'm actually gonna have to get rid of the sandals. 
That actually sends me. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Have to be careful. Alright, this guy's taken care of. Come on. I know you can, I know you can drop him. Drop me the lizard on a stick. No. Alright. These guys aren't pain at all. There we go. Let's head on down here. Take me that long to find a lizard on a stick. Sometimes it happens to where you can't get the lizard on a stick in like the first run through. You have to do one or two more run throughs. Um, but it's something that I would prefer not to do. Also, these guys can drop water crystals, I believe, which are used for a lot of different weaponry and armors. <laughs> At the very least, weaponry. Also, I think Gibbs, G Gibbsby, the uh, the rack, can also drop the uh, the lizard on a stick. I'll take care of these guys while, while I'm at it. Might as well. Shield. Uh, this is going to get really annoying if I can't get it on this run because I prefer to have it sooner than later. Because there's a certain event that happens if you can get him sooner than later, and that that will pop up. Alright, come on. Ooh, teriyaki. Uh, teriyaki, teriyaki fish, which is actually worth something. So. Plus one. All right. You know what? Is that a regular inkwell? Yeah, I believe those aren't worth anything. But double, double, just go, just go and double check. It's a special inkwell. Yeah, it's not worth anything. It is a rare draw from them, but I prefer the right oil for now. Right now, right now, I'm more worried about being able to uh, sell my stuff and actually make money for the payment at this point in time, and then I can start worrying about crafting a little bit later. What? Throw away the exhaust. Ooh, shell chest piece. That's actually worth a lot. All right, let's take care of this guy. Again, I don't really need question mark items at this point. All right, thirteenth floor. All right, here we go. Come on. Don't be a dick to me. Give me that lizard. Ugh. These things take so much longer to kill without an actual proper sword. All right. Now, I believe whenever you get back with the special items and everything like that, they're actually identified for you. Because it's kind of like, hey, look, this is kind of what it is, and it kind of gets, kind of gets uh, revealed. But until you actually gain the level to recognize it right off the bat, they won't necessarily give you that information. Alright. I think I'll level up one more time before I definitely make it towards the boss. Oh, darn it. Stay there. There you go. <laughs> oh, I learned a new skill. That's right. Um, in fact, that skill is actually probably going to be worth something. Because it's going to be one of my main attacks against the final boss of this dungeon. 
but since I'm planning on leveling up anyways, don't mind doing a couple of those. But three item details. Okay, so it does tell me, so it's SP, okay. SP. I have a lot of SP items. Um, I will actually, ooh, that is a, worth a lot. So I will go ahead and drop the teriyaki. To see what's in here. Oh, okay. Too many a charm. Not worth anything, but you know. That means that I need to worry about more HP items more than anything, but I will level up one more time before I even dare go up to the boss. Full health is kind of a necessity if she, if you if you're not prepared. Alright. Come on, no. Damn it. Do, 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 do. All right. Come on. Any more healing items or anything like that? Well appreciated. Oh. This is going to be a pain in my ass. I might have to actually heal. I'm probably gonna actually have to heal. Let me go ahead and actually use the item. And I'll just go ahead and kill everything along the way, see if I can't get a healing item. If not, oh well. It's gonna suck because I should have stopped. I usually stop at 10 by the side, you know, let's see if I can make it just on my own, but now that now it means that whenever I level, I'll instantly go to the boss and actually just spam my powers since I have all the items to actually be able to do that. Ooh, news! SP's consumption halves! Ooh, I can use this two more times then. Let's see if I can... Alright. Well, let me find the level for... Let me find the actual area first to, uh, teleport. Right. Ooh, there we go. This is actually a... Probably just going to go ahead and level from this real quick. Ooh, cherries. That's actually a healing item. I will use that. It's a cherry plus three, too, so that means I'll heal a little bit more. On average. Alright. Well. Still going to risk it and see if I can't find the lizard on these guys. I'm not a well. I'll just do a boss rush or two. See if I can't get the king stone and the, and the uh, item. Alright. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, stop it. There we go. I figured that's what it's gonna be. That's some sort of trap. Because it's a tarp. Alright. Well, there's the area. Yeah, I better just do it. I'm not gonna. I don't really wanna worry about having to die or anything like that. Alright. So, this is the lowest floor of the dungeon tier? Not precisely. While we cannot currently proceed any further, I strongly suspect that we can go even deeper in the next time. Huh? What? What's that? What is that? The launches change shape every time someone enters them. Some theorize that they adapt to the strength of those who enter, and refer to this as a living dungeon phenomenon. The truth of the matter is unclear, however. Okay. I wonder if the dungeon gets bored if it's alone. So that would make the people who are foolish enough to enter a place like this, like this the playthings of the underworld. <laughs> I see. I like the way you think, girl. She's the maid of the god. Yeah, she is. She's, it's I hey, look! It's it's hey, hey, it's my, uh, it's my favorite, uh... I like the workout girl. <laughs> oh, she's pretty good, too. This, here's my favorite princess lesbian bimbo. Even they name's Charm, the lady thief. Thief? Princess lesbian bimbo. Yes, act yes actually, it is true. <laughs> so, your treasures, valuables, and sword shiny bits. I'll be taking them if you please. We won't let you. Sigh. Always, always away. Well then, in that case, it looks like I, it's time to cut some fools. I will use all my specials for this one. Ow! Because she hurts! Alright, this is gonna hurt. Alright. 
Actually, where's the cherries? Alright, good. That was a good amount. Uh, she hurts way too much. In fact, switch the other one. Ah! Stop dodging! She's shielded? Damn. Alright, come on. There we go. Ow. Alright, come on. One more good one two more good hits. Ow. No! Come on, stop it. Stop. Oh. Oh! Good god. Alright. Then this is why she's a very, very tough boss. Freaking friggin' ow. <laughs> I'm losing my touch getting beat like that. Um, uh, miss, are you okay? Um, I'm more morally wounded. I can't I can see the far shore. No, I uh, um I'm kidding, girl. Really, if you get this worried about every burke who tries to slit your throat and take your liquor liquor Oh ow, freaking. Hey, you really are hurt. Here, take this wound ointment. What the? Did you have this on you the entire time? Eh, sorry, Tear. You two are a pair of oddballs, you know that? Believe me, she is the only round, strange object currently present. Uh, please do not assume that both of us are nearly as so foolish. Really, seems to me like you two make a good pair. Err. Well then, young ladies, I should scamper since I've been beaten like a mutt. Enjoy your treasure, you've earned it. Never Wait. beat mutts! <laughs> Wait! Exactly, exactly, we never beat mutts. Wait, I'm, Reci I'm Recite and this is Tear. We have an ice shop at the top of the hill in town called Recite Tear. You should stop by. I should, uh huh. I'll keep that in mind. See you later, kids. Goodbye, John! Merde, given our, her our shop location, why are you thinking Resete? It actually works. Ooh, I think there's one. The lady thief, huh? She was kinda cool. You will not forgive me if I do not think the same way. Hey, are you jealous? Absolutely not. Alright. Well, first off, I get a book. Booze of the World. Second off, I get the treasure, which is a very odd vase. What are you talking about? Huh. I think it's actually worth something if I remember, remember correctly. Alrighty then, let's see here. Oh, I did get the charred lizard, cool. Alright, I actually got the two I actually got two items I needed. I got some slime fluid as well. Path of concert, bat okay. So that means all I have to do is uh do a few things as far as that means I, there's, there's a few things I could do as far as, uh, what was I thinking? I, actually, I could do the boss rush then, is what I'm thinking. Oh, uh, let's see. Hey, Celine, come over here. What? I got a shell chest piece. It's actually made of shells. So now you're a mermaid. Yes. Alright, now I'm back. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and put a couple more items on here. And that's a very odd base, but I will not be putting it up in the front and everything like that. I'll be probably keeping that in the back, believe it or not, because it's considered a good treasure. I do need the bat wings, though, and the fins. Actually, I can probably... Actually, I'll put the booze of the world up here. And I'll put... Alright. Um, I can sell... Let's sell some more clothes over here. Yeah. Let's bring those items to get people in, and we'll go ahead and open up shop for the night. Hey, there's Louie. Hey there. I've been really looking for this. Is it really for sale? Yeah, it's for sale for you, Louie. Near pin. Yeah, I was close to I was close to what I was looking for. Now this one would be handy. Go down to 115. Yeah, I didn't sell that much, but you know, I didn't need to sell too much it anyways. Hey look, definitely made some profits. A score difference. Hey look, there we go. Definitely made quite a bit of money and qu found quite a few items. And that is the end of day three. Thank you for watching uh, this run, th this uh, day three of Reset here. 
If you liked what you see, click like, subscribe, and share. My name is Old Man Daisy, and I'll see you next time.